Hello, my name is Mel and this is Nicole. In this video we'll be talking about how we designed and made our model. The book we chose for this model is called Moles in Love. The book is essentially about realising that the people you love and that the people that love you are always there and sometimes we have to go searching to come to this realisation in life. The scene we chose out of the book is the two moles dancing in the moonlight and here we can see a moon in the background which is um, a quite natural background including trees and grass and at this point in the story the mole Morris has been looking through a farmyard to find a friend to love and when his adventure comes to an end he realises his best friend has been there from the very start. So we decided to aim this, uh, the creation of this model for year three and four. Uh, the reasoning behind this is the designer's aspect is a little more complex than the year one or two level as the design and technology curriculum goes up in two year levels at a time. Considering this, the children will be able to use their imagination after reading the book as a class to find a scenario that they are interested in and recreate it into a model using knowledge and skills and process and production skills. So the materials we used were cardboard for the moles, the background and the box. We used thin card for the grass and the trees, acrylic paint and textures to colour the model. To join the parts of the model together we used a hot glue gun and the electrical wires connected to the bulb holder were soldered on. Our two systems are pneumatic and electric. The pneumatic system uses two medium-sized syringes and plastic airline tubing. The electric system includes electrical wiring with stripped ends, a 1.5 volt battery and a battery holder, and a light bulb in, in a light bulb holder. Again. For the cam system, we used a wooden rod for the shaft, two wooden circles with holes in them as the cams to fit onto the rod, two plastic straws as a slide to guide the wooden rods, which are the followers to move up and down. First of all, we uh, sketched the initial ideas that we had. So once we had our best ideas, we created a final sketch so we could begin uh, creating our model based on that sketch. Uh, we created the cardboard box first. Uh, additional cardboard was added on the inside to just strengthen the structure. We paper mache the box to add more strength just so it could support all the weight of all the different elements and systems inside. The pneumatic system was then tested and inserted in place according to the design sketches. Uh, the electric circuit was next and we tested that to make sure it functioned. Uh, once we knew it was working properly, we soldered it together. So the electric circuit was then placed onto the back of the model and connected to the pneumatic system on the end of the outer syringe by means of attaching a conductive strip to create a switch to complete the circuit. On the end of the handle on the other syringe, we then placed the moon, which is a ping pong ball, over the light bulb. A wooden cam was then constructed so that the moles could be attached in order to make them dance. We cut circular wooden cams and slid them onto the shaft to allow the followers to bounce on top of the model accordingly. This was done to resemble the moles dancing in the moonlight. The scenery was hot glued into position and the moles on their followers were slotted into the holes on top of the model. The slides which we made out of plastic straws to guide the followers. Using simpler materials you could even focus on a younger age group of course always considering safety aspects. The storybook displays many different animals throughout, mostly with some sort of action in which they could reenact the scene through their model by choosing their favourite animal from the book. Uh, we asked an experienced friend to help us make the wooden cams because they were using power tools. So if we're not too confident of using power tools, we might have accidentally cut incorrectly or even injured ourselves, so we had to take that into consideration. Uh, we were also very careful when we used the soldering iron and the hot glue gun. Uh, the first change we would do is we'd probably purchase pre-made pre plastic cans instead of making our own out of wood, just to avoid any necessary use of power tools because that's a bit too dangerous for primary school. Finally, we would also probably use tape to connect the wires to all the battery holder and the um, light bulb. Just strips of our foil or just get them to use electrical tape to hold all the elements in place.